Hi there guys, this is Nikhil from 3D Tech. In this video, I am going to show you how you can overclock or underclock the CPU of Micromax Eureka. For that, we are going to use an app called No Fill CPU. Well, to do this, you need to definitely have a rooted device. So if you want to root your Micromax Eureka, you, you can look at my video. I'll leave a link to that video in the description area below this video. So please don't worry that the warranty might get voided if you root the device. Micromax has said that even if you root the device, you can still claim the warranty. So coming to the part of overclocking or underclocking your CPU, there are mainly two reasons why you want to do that. One is if your device is getting heated up a lot and you want to reduce the CPU clock frequency so that it won't get heated up that much. And the second reason would be you think that the performance of the device is lagging and you want to increase the CPU frequency. But please be noted that whenever you overclock the CPU, it, there might be a chance that the CPU might get damaged. So make sure that you are doing it within its limit. So once you open up the app, these are the options that you going to see so you can set the maximum clock frequency and the minimum clock frequency and the governance that is the CPU scheduling and you can set it to interactive or most probably you can change it to on demand and you can even change the IO scheduler and at the end you can apply these settings on every boot. I would suggest you to first check out these settings and if you think they are working absolutely fine without any problem, I suggest you to simply tweak with it and if you found that the settings are good enough then apply those settings at the boot time because if you do something you shouldn't have done and have applied it at boot you won't be able to undo it then you have to simply reset the device to remove those changes. So if you are a basic user and you want to underclock the device just to save the battery or to reduce the heating problem, the sign team has already provided you that feature in the notification area and please swipe the notification bar and you will see a tile that says performance profile there you have it so in case if you are not able to see it just click the plus button over here and now you will be taken to this screen you need to press add and these are the list of additional tiles from this you need to select performance profile which is over here as I've already selected it it is shown in gray color so anyway this is the performance profile and we have a total of three performance profiles one is the power saver which underclocks the cpu and the balance mode which is the most preferable mode because your cpu frequency will vary according to the requirement and the performance mode which will clock the cpu at its highest frequency which completes the task very quickly but at the same time heats up your device and drains your battery so that's it guys thanks for watching the video if you found this video to be helpful please hit the like button and share it with your friends and please subscribe to my channel to see more videos just like this